Okay, so I want to talk about this problem in the book yesterday. So we figured out pretty easily that 27 divided by 3 was 9. So it took Kendra 9 minutes for every mile, or every minute was a ninth of a mile. So using that information, the book kind of set it up a very interesting way that I it's fine. And if you like that and it makes sense to you, but it does not make sense to my mind. So I just want to talk about a different way we could do this problem. So they said, I know that I have one mile and it took me nine minutes to do that in. And then they said, I want to times that by 45 minutes. So every minute was a ninth of a mile. And so then we're timesing that. And so I've got to put this over one. And then these minutes canceled out. So 45 times one was 45 miles. Nine times one was nine. 45 divided by nine is five. So it took five miles to go 45 minutes. And that just doesn't always make sense in my mind of what I'm doing and which way I am going. And I don't love when my labels don't match up. I like things to nicely match up and be on the same page. So earlier we had 27 miles and I divided that by three, or sorry, minutes. Let me get my things right here. And we divided by three miles. And I wanted to know how far she could go in one mile or how long it took to go one mile. So notice my miles are lined up and then my minutes are going to be lined up. Three divided by one was three. So 27 divided by th three was nine. So everything nicely matched up and I didn't have to do all this canceling out. So we're going to try this same problem without having to cancel everything out. So we're going to use this information here and we're going to set up a problem. So we're going to put our minutes on the top, just like they are here. And we're going to put our miles on the bottom. So nine minutes for one mile. And the question asked how many miles in 45 minutes. So we're going to say that equals, I'm going to put my minutes on top, 45. So the difference here is they had 45 on top as well, but this problem was flipped. And so our minutes were on opposite sides of the division bar. And I like them to be on the same side. So now I'm going to put this over M because I'm looking for how many miles that is. So these are equivalent ratios. So I need to get this M all by itself. So what I'm gonna show you is gonna look a little complicated, but then I'll show you the shortcut way. So I need to get M by itself. So I'm gonna just be moving things back and forth. And every time I move something over an equal sign, you have to do the opposite. So the opposite of dividing by M is two times by M. So now it's gone on this side. And over here, I need two times by M. So M times nine over one equals 45. So now I wanna get M by itself. So I'm gonna move this to the other side. So the opposite of divide by one is two times by one. So that cancels out, but I've gotta do the same thing to the other side. So hang with me here. I know this looks complicated, but I'll show, show you the shortcut in just a second. So 45 over times one is 45. So I'm gonna rewrite my problem. So I have M times nine equals 45 times one is 45. So remember, I'm trying to get M all by itself. So now I can say the opposite of times by nine is to divide by nine. So that cancels out to a one. So now I need to do divide by nine here. 45 divided by nine equals five. M equals five, five miles, five miles. So I know right now that didn't look easier. Well, let's start it again here. So I know in nine minutes I can go one mile. 
And I want to see in 45 minutes how many miles I can go. So essentially what we did here, after we moved this, moved this, so everything went back and forth, back and forth. What we did was 45 times one, 45 times one is 45. And then we had to divide by this other number here was nine. So 45 times one is 45 divided by nine is five. So 45 divided by nine equals five. So that's way simpler once you know what you're doing. I know I'm moving the M over and then I have to move the one over. So that's where 45 times one comes. Then I have to move the nine over. So divide by the other number. So let's try that other one here. So we're gonna set up, we know we have these minutes and we're comparing them to miles. And we know it takes nine minutes to run one mile. And then the question asked, how many minutes would it take to run seven miles? So everything's matched up here. One mile, seven miles, nine minutes, how many minutes? We can do that same strategy here. So this time my variable is on the top though. So I'm going to times by these. So, so we'd move everything over and over. So we're going to times across. Nine times seven is 63. And then we divide by the one. 63 divided by one equals 63. So that is my favorite way to do that. So if the rest of that didn't make sense, and this does awesome, or if it's both ways still aren't making sense, let me know and we will do some more practice and there will be some more practice with this tomorrow that I will help you with as well.